Hello, everyone. Welcome to another live episode of our low carb and fasting dito sa ating LCF lifestyle. So, for our topic for this evening, paano mag low carb kung may maintenance na? And of course, we will entertain some questions. It's gonna be a QA or tanungan episode. So, first, paano ba mag low carb kung may maintenance na? This is a common question, especially sa mga nagsa start pa lang na merong maintenance for diabetes, hypertension, at marami pang iba. And we will discuss the best practices in low carb and fasting lifestyle for this year 2024 if you have been in our community watching our, our videos over the years so generally i'm sure nakuha nyo na yung pinaka gist ng lifestyle na to but to reiterate and of course to emphasize kung ano yung na-learn natin over the years we will discuss them tonight so good evening po sa lahat hello janice nida mar yeah, maria from dubai kuwait and santia galing si janice so we will start now Ang first, of course, first thing that you can do if kayo ay may maintenance na is, of course, do it with proper guidance and consult your physician. Kailangan tama po yung paggawa nito to avoid any dangers. May I'm sure na kita nyo yung previous na viral na meron daw na hospital na emergency na ICU after siyang nag-low carb na siya ay diabetic. The common reason usually na dinadala sa emergency room or nalalagay sa ICU would be ketoacidosis. But ketoacidosis, DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis, is actually not a complication of proper low carb. Kung nagkaroon man ng DKA, most likely hindi yon tama ang paggawa nila, hindi tama ang pagsisimula nila. Maybe they thought they are doing low carb, but maybe it's not really low carb. So, maraming possibilities na no point na for us to theorize kung ano yung nangyari. But most likely, hindi ito tamang paggawa ng low carb because, alam natin, with proper low carb, hindi po nagde-develop ng DKA or diabetes ketoacidosis. Kasi yung primarily na component ng DKA ay parehong pagtaas ng ketones sa katawan at pagtaas ng blood sugar. But with proper low carb, ang tataas lang would be the ketones and not the glucose. So yung glucose mababa pa din and that is what we call nutritional ketosis. Nutritional or therapeutic ketosis na based on studies is actually very very helpful for healing, lowering inflammation and even to some point Ito ay magkakalit into pag-shrink na mga tumors, especially brain tumors. There are studies. That's why ketogenic diet has been very effective and also for those with epilepsy. So, hindi po nakakatakot ang ketosis alone. Nutritional ketosis per se ay safe and also our goal when it comes to healing sa paglo-low carb on certain illness. So, dapat you consult your physician. Bakit kayo kailangan mag-consult ng physician? Either your physician or our low-carb physicians. Marami tayong available in our community. We have Dr. Brian Castillo, Dr. Lizelle Ganancial, meron din tayong Dr. Fee and Dr. Mike Atencio, Dr. Suzette Encarnado, at marami pang iba. So, you can seek any consult with those physicians. I'm sorry to say right now, I'm focusing on my surgical practice. So, yung consultations ko po would be those na magpapa-opera. So, unless kayo ay maglo-low at magpapa-opera at the same time for cosmetic, facial cosmetic reasons, facial aesthetic reasons, then we can consult. Otherwise, we have our friends in our community na mga doktor na pwede nyo pong pagkonsultahan. It is important to consult your physician because when you do low carb, most likely marami sa mga gamot na iniinom nyo ngayon may not no may no longer be as needed okay baka kailangan niyo sa simula pero over time baka kailangan na itong alisin or pa konti konti mag-reduce ng dose or others kailangan mag-shift into different kind of maybe less potent or different kind of medicine so as if you are not a physician yourself Hindi nyo, baka hindi nyo malaman kung alin sa mga gamot na ito ang una ninyong kailangang tanggalin or safe tanggalin. Hindi po kasi lahat ng gamot pwedeng tanggalin agad-agad. So, and especially with 
those na merong comorbidities, usually may mga combination yan. Hindi lang diabetes, yung mga diabetic, meron ding hypertension. Or yung iba, na unang merong high blood pressure or hypertension. And later on, nagkaroon din ng diabetes. At marami pang ibang complications like fatty liver, yung mga babae, meron PCOS. Yung iba, meron pagtaas ng cholesterol, pagtaas ng uric acid, pagtaas ng iba't iba pang mga blood parameters that are already given that are already being given medicine. So kailangan you'll know which among your medicines yung safe tanggalin una at kung alin doon yung dapat merong weaning or slowly na pag-reduce ng dose. Otherwise kasi say for example for uh, many na mga medications for high blood pressure kapag ito ay biglang tatanggalin ay pwede itong mag-lead into what we call rebound hypertension. After na sa sobrang tagal na pag-inom nito, bigla mo itong i-withdraw at magkakaroon ng biglang shoot up ng blood pressure. So if for the longest time you've been taking those medications at yung inyong blood pressure ay nakamaintain na, say for example at 130 over 90 or 85 at bigla nyo itong tanggalin, pwede itong mag-shoot up, pwede magkaroon ng signs of parang malignant hypertension. So very, very high blood pressure na hindi basta-basta ang mapapababa. So try to avoid all those and that is why we want you to do it with proper guidance and through consulting your physician, either your low-carb physician or your own endocrinologist. This is also the reason why we want you to learn properly. Meron tayong mga platforms where you can learn properly para pwede kayong mag-work with your physician kahit hindi siya low-carb physicians. We've, have, we've had many successful stories na ang cons- nagkukonsulta sila sa kanilang doktor pa din and they just underwent our classes like the LCF Masterclass for Diabetes and Hypertension they followed the one month monitoring nagkaroon sila ng proper na monitoring ng kanilang progress day by day and they went back to their physician pinakita nila yung kanilang monitoring sheet kung ano yung pagbaba or pag improve ng kanilang blood pressure ng kanilang ng kanilang blood glucose after meals after fasting and yung physician na rin nila na endo nila or yung kanilang internal internist or internal medicine doctor sila na mismo ang nagtanggal ng mga gamot or nag-change or nagbawas ng mga dosage because they are they saw the proof doctors Uh, can trust you naman kung ano yung inyong monitoring, especially if you are very religious sa pagmamonitor ninyo ng inyong mga parameters like blood pressure, weight, uh, at saka blood glucose monitoring. So it is very, very important. So do it with proper guidance. Number two, study, learn, and apply. So dapat talaga you should know low carb and fasting first bago kayo magsimula agad-agad. Okay? Hindi lang basta meron lang kayong narinig na video na hindi na kumain ng rice, bigla lang kayong hindi kumain na ng rice, at feeling nyo nag-low carb na kayo, it might not be correct because hindi lang po rice yung iniwasan natin sa low carb, but all other carbs na nagpapashoot up ng blood sugar. So, all other forms of sugar, may it be simple sugar or other complex sugar na madaling nakoconvert into simple sugar. And that is starch. So, ang mga starches would include bread, uh, root crops, uh, and certain fruits and certain vegetables. So, yung mga patatas, kung sobra-sobra kayong kumain ng certain beans na starchy beans like munggo. Munggo is a little high on protein but it's still very high in starch. So, starch pa rin po yung munggo. That's why if you have to eat it on low carb, konting-konti lang talaga. Hindi siya pang maramihan like the usual serving na pagkain natin. So, there are so many other aspects in low carb that you should study at make sure na eto ay matutunan nyo talaga and at the end of the day, kailangan i-apply. Hello to my patients na nagpa-consulta and naging patients ko na din in, in aesthetics, naging patient ko in rhino, rhinoplasty, in blepharoplasty and other patients procedures na naglo low carb and at the same time became my patients in my surgical practice. So marami sa kanila ang walang problema ang pag-fasting before the surgery and also wala rin problema ang mag-fasting and mag-continue ng low carb after the procedure and in my 
case, nakita ko na sobrang ganda ng kanilang recovery post-op. So, hindi sila masyadong namamaga, hindi sila masyadong nagsiswell, and they are doing really well sa kanilang healing. So, that is also very important. Make sure that you apply them. And as much as I am very, very happy na umaabot ng 1,500 sa ating live viewers, and our repeat viewers, nagre-review sa mga hindi makapanood ng live episode natin ngayon, it's okay. I'm so happy that you are here, learning, studying, continuously being aware of kung paano mag-low carb ng tama at mag-fasting ng tama. But don't forget na pinaka-importante sa lahat is the application of low carb. Huwag lang bastang matuwa lang sa ating mga kwentuhan, sa ating mga chismisan. Make sure that you also be moved. Kailangan talaga kayo ay magsimula ng mag-low carb. Ito na ang signal, ang, ang sign na hinihintay ninyo kung kayo ay matagal lang nagko-contemplate na mag-low carb pero hindi nyo pa magawa-gawa. Tonight, this is your sign na simula, simula na ito. And of course, if you don't have any medical conditions, you can go doing low carb right away. Okay? So, make sure you study first, you learn and apply, at hindi kailangan sobrang tagal. Kahit lang in a day, you can dedicate one whole day of reading, of watching informational videos, and really dedicating on being open kung paano mag low carb ng tama. I'm sure makikita nyo ang sagot and you can already start applying in as fast as one day of learning. Okay? Number three, start with food inventory and elimination. Yun yung pinakauna sa ating lifestyle. It's usually about the food intake. So, alamin muna kung ano yung usual mong kinakain at kung ano ang pwedeng eliminate dito. Because it's useless if you are watching and learning mga different platforms and different uh, na mga uh, list of foods na hindi naman applicable sa kung saan yung setting ninyo. Say for example, meron kayong pinapanood na uh, American na, na author or American doctor and lahat ng mga sinasabi nilang mga pagkain ay wala naman dito sa Pilipinas or if you are watching here na parati namang Filipino foods yung pinag-uusapan natin but say for example you are in another country na totally different yung cuisine na mahihirapan kayong mag-apply so so, dapat you make sure that you understand kung ano yung concept ng low carb because the moment you understand fully kung ano yung concept ng low carb, kahit anong cuisine pa yan, sobrang dali lang mag-alam or malaman kung ano yung mga pagkain safe kainan with low carb at kung ano yung hindi safe kainan with low carb. So, uh, we can just run through kung ano yung usual kinakain ng mga diabetics, hypertensive, especially yung iniisip na yun yung safe food. So with breakfast, pinaka-common na iniisip would be safe yung uh, oatmeal, safe yung tinapay na whole wheat bread, and mga cereals, but actually those are still considered as very, very high carb. If you've been eating those, most likely yun din yung rason, isa sa mga rason kung bakit hindi kayo gumagaling-galing sa inyong mga, mga sakit. And others also pang, uh, pang tawid gutom, they have these crackers, mga biscuit na hindi parati natin nadidiscuss. So, akala nila safe yun, but actually those are all carbs. Kung titingnan nyo yung nutrition facts ng mga common, ng mga biskwet, ng mga crackers, ng mga rectangular crackers na nabibili lang anywhere in the Philippines, makikita nyo that it's 100% made up of carbohydrates. And yung net carbs ito ay almost similar. Halos wala nga itong fiber. Kung meron may itong fiber, baka meron ng isang fiber out of 20 grams of carbs, out of 30 grams of carbohydrates, and that's already equivalent to 4 to 6 teaspoons of white sugar kapag natunaw na sa ating katawan. So, alamin kung ano sa mga pagkain ninyo usually ang pinaka na bebelong sa ating danger list and also and also caution list. So, yung food list natin, it's best to stay safe on the safe list. Okay, ng JGR Tan MD food list, you can just search in Facebook Hashtag JGR Tan MD food list at may kita ninyo ang ating, ating food list na kung saan na pwede nyo itong ipaskill sa inyong refrigerator, inyong kitchen. I, I know marami nang gumagawa niyan para malaman ninyo, ma-remind kayo kung ano yung mga pagkain safe for you to consume. And if you don't have available yan sa ating 
sa ating website na jgrtanmd.com. Meron dyang printable food list natin na pwede nyo ma-print. And so that you'll know kung ano yung mga pagkaing safe ninyong i-consume sa pang-araw-araw at kung ano yung pinakauna ninyong dapat i-eliminate. And of course, that's why we start with your own food inventory. Because usually, ang sabi nila, 80% ng kinakain natin, ayun lang pala yung paulit-ulit nating kinakain. So, we are actually not eating so much variety. Mga nasa 20% lang yung mga unique or mga varied na kinakain natin. But in a whole month, 80% non paulit-ulit lang yung kinakain natin. So, it is very important na alamin kung ano yung 80% na parating pinaprepare sa inyong bahay or parating yung ino-order or parating yung kinikrave because most likely doon din nakukuha yung pinaka mga, mga dapat nating iwasan kung tayo ay nagkakasakit. There are birthdays, celebrations, there are occasions na nakakain ng mga cakes, pastries, soft drinks, ice cream, yung mga nasa party na mga pagkain. But actually, hindi sila, although they are, they should also be avoided and are contributory kung tayo'y nagkakasakit. Pero it's what we do most often, more often on a day-to-day -day basis ang nagkakaroon talaga ng impact sa ating health. So it's important to no kung ano-ano ang mga yon lunch time it might uh, look very healthy na para sa akala ng usual iba na na hindi masyadong aware sa low carb eating uh, vegetables like pinakbet and then meron pang sabaw and then hindi ko makain ng baboy galong galonggong lang yung ginakain isda and also avoiding egg yolks, egg white lang yung kinakain. Pero kung ang kapares nito ay merong kanin. And then right after, kumakain pa ng saging, which is added sugar. And then meron pang coke sa tabi after eating. So it's actually you quite useless na kumakain ka ng mga gulay na yan, ng gulay. And also you are avoiding red meat na hindi naman pala dapat because red meat, especially beef, could be the single most nutritious food para sa ating mga tao. Wala pong waste yung red meat. We can we can absorb halos lahat ng nutrients na nasa red meat, especially beef, especially those yung mga organic and uh, grass-fed beef, and of course, uh, other red meats, pork, uh, we have carabao here in the Philippines. So all of those are safe to consume um, uh, and also meat ng uh, kambing. So those foods are all very safe. And seafood are also safe. Pero you can make use of the benefit nat ng mga proteins and other healthy fats kung kakainin nyo ito with less carbohydrates na nakakapagpataas ng blood sugar and you are using non-inflammatory ingredients. So, wala mo ng mga pampalasa sa mga pagkain other than basic salt and pepper, no need for other mga artificial condiments and uh, most importantly, the oil that you use ay very important din. Huwag nang mag-stay away from our beloved coconut oil. Stick na lang tayo sa coconut oil to be safe for cooking, okay? You can still have other oils like I also have here extra virgin olive oil as part ng aming condiment and also for certain salads and raw na mga preparations, okay? So those are the things that you can consider. So make sure that you have a food inventory. Ilista muna. Kahit one week lang, ilista mo yung inyong kinakain araw-araw. So, and you mark kung ano yung kailangan ninyong i-avoid based on our food list. And also, kung hindi nyo talaga ito maiwasang i-eliminate altogether, you can now start to think kung ano yung i -re replace natin dito. So, if you are fond of rice and bread, Kung hindi kayang mabuhay ng walang rice and bread, we are lucky na meron na tayong low-carb counterpart. So that's our baby Bree. Nagising na siya, but nandiyan lang naman si Daddy. And ready na siyang kumain. And uh, her milk that I just expressed a while ago, I already ready na din. So nandiyan lang siya. And 
Um, with low carb na rice, merong shirataki rice. If you want, ano bang gusto kong rice replacement? Before, uh, bago ko nalaman that I'm allergic, I'm somewhat uh, sensitive to egg white. Gumagawa kami ng egg white, egg white rice. So boiled egg white or pritong egg white. Uh, I cut it into small pieces, yung parang minamash. And lo and behold, para na siyang kanin. So yun yung parang pinakakanin ni mami whenever we're eating, whenever we have eggs. So kami yung kumakain ng egg yolk, siya kumakain ng egg white. And it's not because we are afraid, she's afraid of egg yolk, no. But it's just that uh, sayang yung egg white kung hindi kakainin. So si mami yung kumakain ng egg white and since wala naman siyang sensitivity with egg white. Other replacement for rice uh, would be other vegetables na parang matabang and that would be cauliflower and bro broccoli. But make sure lang you are tolerant sa mga sa oxalate that could be high in those cruciferous vegetables and also merong iba na nagre-react with cauliflower na tumataas yung kanilang uric acid. So not everybody is tolerant sa vegetables. I now learned the hard way na hindi pala ako tolerant sa vegetables. That is why kung makikita ninyo, puro ulam lang yung kinakain ko and yun yung safest for me. But, and for others naman who can tolerate more vegetables, so good. At least you know, but make sure it is on the low carb side ng ating mga vegetables. So, when it comes to bread naman, when meron na tayong mga easy recipes for low carb bread, you can easily make bread out of coconut a coconut na flour, meron ding almond flour, at sa mga very busy na walang time magluto, you can find mm, trusted sellers of low-carb bread. So recently, thank you, Shapes, Shapes Keto Cakes, known for our tin can cakes na low-carb and keto cakes. They are now releasing a line of low-carb bread. So meron silang low-carb uh, na pandesal, Merong low carb na loaf and meron ding low carb na bun and low carb pita bread. And so far, they are so good. And I've been on low carb for going five years now. And I've cooked my own versions of low carb na alam na alam ko when a certain low carb bread is really low carb. Uh, so alam ko na yung lasa ng psyllium husk, alam ko ng lasa ng santam gum, yun yung mga pampalapot ng ating mga low-carb ingredients. I know if it's made from coconut flour or if it's made from almond flour. At alam ko kung ito ay hindi talaga masyadong totoong low-carb na unfortunately, meron talagang iba nag-claim that it's low-carb but hindi pala ganon ka-low-carb. So, try to be mindful. Of course, the safest is for you to cook your own low-carb breads and goodies and pastries. But if not, you can find trusted sellers naman na, ma, na we can trust. And good thing we have partners that we know are honest and are also in our alignment with our advocacy na totoong nagpo-produce ng mga low-carb products, okay? But don't complicate it. The simplest foods can be found in your pantry na nasa bahay nyo na or bibilihin nyo pa sa market. So kayo mismo dapat ang bumili niyan. And of course, to guide you, we have the food list. So going back to the food list, we really did our best to make the food list as easy as possible to comprehend, madaling intindihin. And also, yung application niya is widely varied para mas madaling magsimula mag low carb ang lahat. Okay? So, food elimination sa based on what you are commonly eating. And also, it it's good na the moment that you know kung ano yung common yung kinakain na pwedeng eliminate, it's also good to know which ones ang safe ninyong kainin. So, always find a low-carb favorite. Kung pwede pa lang meron kayong favorite for the whole month or for the whole week or pang forever. Yung parang hindi kayo mauumay na any day, anytime, any day, you can have a staple. So, for us, our staple is actually pork. So, either kung pork na kami ang magluluto, meron kaming pork na pinapakuluan lang and then we separate the sabaw and then the pork and anytime you wanna eat, Kumukuha ka namin ng konting sabaw at konting pork, nire-reheat lang, nilalagyan lang ng coco aminos or some spices or yung pinaka-favorite namin, nilalagyan lang ng pechay and it's already good to go. 
if we don't have time to cook naman, which is most often during the last month since we arrived, yung pinaka staple namin would be liempo. So, grilled liempo na in order lang online. So, grilled liempo would be, for me, one of the safest kind of liempo kasi wala siyang kahit anong mga, kung ano-anong mga sauce, kung ano-anong mga breading, wala. Liempo lang talaga siya na na inihaw. So, it's just grilled liempo na asin lang yung ginamit na pampalasa. And it's all so good. So, yun yung staple namin. So, you should find your own staple. My second staple siguro that I like eating would be bangus. So, I like bangus. So, boneless bangus kasi nakakapagod kumain if it's boneful na bangus. Okay? And number four, of course, you closely monitor your progress. So, this one, if you are learning through our masterclass, meron yang mga monitoring sheet that is recommended for you to do, to, for you to see closely every morning, three times a day sa simula kung kailangan, or kung meron mga laboratory works that needs improvement. So, yun ay kailangan din i-monitor. So, closely monitor progress. Kailangan alam ninyo where you are. Weight is one of the common things that people also monitor. But you actually don't need to monitor your weight daily. Baka wag kayong magpaka-obsess sa weighing scale. I've been on that road before also and it's really not good. Kasi hindi lang po yung timbang, yung nakaka- dikta kung tayo ay nag improve In fact, there are many improvements na tawag natin non-scale related. So, non-scale victory. Kahit yung timbang nyo managsistay the same, pero balay nyo, baka tumutubo yung inyong muscles at pero nawawala yung taba sa katawan, you might actually be losing fats but gaining healthy weight through muscles. And the other mode of, of monitoring would be monitoring your waistline. So especially sa umbilical line. So abdominal girth or yung sa linya ng pusod, that's the most important part na kailangan nating ma-monitor na dapat yung waistline natin sa umbilical area, sa pusod area, abdominal girth, ay hindi lalagpas sa kalahati ng ating height. So, kung yung height natin, for example, is uh, 60 inches, so dapat yung ating uh, waistline would not be more than 30. So, kung kayo ay nasa 28, 27, 25, way below you the half of your height, then it's all good. So, sobrang, sobrang, ganda ng, kanya, ng progress na yan and you should continue and maybe you just want to make it even better by strengthening it, doing some exercise para maton yung muscles, magkaroon, magless yung sagging ng ating skin. So those things that you can do. But monitor your progress the right way at huwag magpaka-obsess, huwag magpaka-stress. Okay? Monitor your progress and always be mindful. Yung mga little victories natin, especially non-scale victories, Even the fact that you can already say no to foods na mga noon ay hindi mo talaga maiwasan. Certain kind of foods na kayo before ay nagkakaroon ng parating cravings at na-obsess because you are a sugar addict like me also before. And ngayon nakakahindi na kayo. That's already sign of progress. So dumating na si mother. Ano kaya ang dala ni mother na food? Sige, so, uh, let's see, let's see. Tingnan ko, ano dala ni maming na food? Low carb ba yan, Meng? Sisig. Sisig. So, of course, ala, wala naman tayong binibig ko na hindi low carb. So, this one is, let's see. So, si maming ang uh, bumili ng ating dinner. So, tingnan natin. <laughs> Tamang-tama pagdating ni maming. So, can I see that one? Ano kaya? yung binili. We'll see. It's hot. Mainit, mainit, mainit. Ah. And yan, Meng, let me see. So, this one is sisig. So, this is sisig and this is this is pork. So, wala na siguro na tira. So, sweet and sour pork na lang. So, merong mga kakaunting breading. And of course, it's quite sweet. But the sauce, hindi naman. So, try to eliminate lang the sauces. That's just the setback kung tayo ay binibili lang natin outside. Kasi merong mga ganyan-ganyan. But of course, these things are just maliliit na bagay na lang yan compared to the rice and 
uh, kung ano pa ang mga big carbs na makakain natin if we are not mindful. So, eto na yun, May. No, nothing else? Ano pa? Oh, ubus na. Ubus na because we're late na, no? For dinner. So, yan lang yung available. Do we have leftover pa ba na chicken? Wala na din, no? So, yan lang. So, sisig and sweet and sour pork. So, it's all pork. So, that's our, ano here, kung ano lang yung madaling kainin. So, wala na dyan. Beef lasagna. Beef lasagna. May si mami mayroong kinaing beef lasagna. Uh, usually, meron kami in order before na lasagna na whole plate. But when we eat it, kinakain namin yung layer ng cheese, layer ng sauce, and layer ng ng uh, beef. So, yon At natitira na lang yung mga pasta. So, and it's worth it. Worth it pa rin. Kasi masarap naman yung, ano, yung kanilang sauce and especially the very uh, famous na lasagna ng isang fast food. It's quite affordable if you will think about it. Yung whole plate nila. So, yun. Kinatanggal lang na. Kinakain namin layer per layer. At yung matitira yung pasta. So, that's how we do low carb kapag Walang panahon magluto. So that's lazy and quick low carb. What's important is, you know, alam na alam mo kung hanggang saan yung inyong limit. So here we are just normal people na bumibili ng kung ano na lang available. It's already quite late. So usually yung binibilahan namin food ay paubos na yung kanilang food. So kung ano lang lang yung natitira. Yan. So closely monitor your progress para alam mo kung saan ka na and where you are headed. Number five is a reminder for you to be patient. So, wag magmadali. If, if you can think about your illness, if na-diagnose kayo ng hypertension or diabetes, most likely, okay, most likely, matagal na yan. It's not, as, it's not overnight na nagkaroon ka ng diabetes or hypertension. Uh, most likely, one year, two years, five years, ang iba nga. 10 years, 20 years na nagsis, nagkaroon ng mga gamot na iniinom for that one. Si Maming, may maintenance ba si Maming? Wala. Walang maintenance si Maming. That's why she's not very, very strict with sticking to the safe list. Okay lang sa kanya kumain ng, na other foods na merong mga incidental carbs. And so far, we're glad na she's doing well. Okay, except for scoliosis. Ming, no? <laughs> so, scoliosis is a structural na problem sa kanyang likod. So, yun, yun, yun lang problema ni Mami. So, be patient. Give time for your body to heal. Give time for yourself to get used sa ating lifestyle and to get used to a healthier lifestyle. Before low carb, I'm eating a cake na yung kinakain ko lang, yung icing lang. Okay, and hindi halos every day kapag kumakain kami, meron kami yung tag-iisang bote ng soft drinks. And that's been our normal for years. Yun yung pinaka-normal namin. But, and we, if meron nagsabi sa amin before na mabubuhay kami ng walang soft drinks in a day, sobra siguro kami hindi maniniwala. But look at us now. We can live without soft drinks and I can no longer remember kung kailan yung last intake ko ng soft drinks. Kahit pa yung mga sugar free or zero sugar na soft drinks, I cannot remember kung kailan ako last uminom niyan. If uminom man ako ng parang pinaka soft drinks good na, that would be just sparkling water. So yeah, so this is our favorite sparkling water dahil made in the Philippines and it's affordable. 78 pesos lang, one liter na and gawa sa Pilipinas. So, we are proud na meron. Ito daw yung first ever na bottled, na glass bottled na sparkling water. Okay? So, yan. Sparkling water lang. Naubos na. Ito na lang yung last. Okay? So, be patient. Mm. And number six, know your limit. Dapat alamin nyo kung anong limit nyo sa lifestyle na to. Limit on the carbs. Gano kalaming carbs at kung gano ka, sa paano nyo ibabudget yung carbs na yon 
limit on caution list. So, in a week, for example, wag araw-araw kumain ng may caution list. I-limit lang to maybe a few day or one or two meals. Wag araw-arawin. And of course, yung tolerance nyo sa low carb. Wag sobra-sobrang strict sa low carb. Just like, hindi na talaga kum- sumasama sa family, kumain sa labas because you're on very strict low carb. So, that's not in a, that's not right naman. So, know your LCF tolerance. Make sure na flexible kayo for you to live a normal and happy life. Hindi yung naglo-low carb kayo, always kayo nakastick sa safe list, pero malungkot naman kayo, nag-iisa, or uh, wala na kayong, wala na kayong happiness. Ming, no? So, dapat, you know, your tolerance sa low carb between between your mental na health, okay? Be- be- between your mental health and sticking to this lifestyle, make sure na you also attend to your mental health. So, avoiding simple sugars can already do so many wonders, okay? But just like us, we are actually not very strict since good thing. Uh, thank God, no, na wala naman sa amin na merong any serious na medical condition. So, we can tolerate caution list. We can tolerate buying food outside, especially na right now, we don't have time to cook everything on our own. We have our hands full. So that's why we can tolerate buying outside and that's making our life easier. So mas madali and we can do compromise. So yan, fasting na lang, mag-IF na lang kami. And especially we are eating most likely na merong mga mga ano ito mga oil na inflammatory oil because outside yung akala ng karamihan yung safe oil would be vegetable oil and we know that's not true we still hope and pray na sana yung vegetable oil nila is, is made of coconut oil but otherwise kung hindi man we compensate with intermittent fasting so usually our first meal is after 12 noon na. so even if we're eating dinner right now around eight o'clock by 12 noon tomorrow that's already 14 hours kanina nga yung first meal namin is already at three in the afternoon kasi late nang bumaba and then i've had my consultation online at natapos at three in the afternoon so three na kami kumain so what time tayo ng dinner kagabi ming? Mga seven or earlier, no? Earlier. Earlier, six or seven siguro. So three, so mga nasa 20 hours fasting pala kami today. So, and that's not intentional. Okay, kung ano lang, as time, kung ano lang yung nangyayari sa buhay, hindi kailangan very strict sa lahat ng bagay, hindi kailangan on the dot lahat if it's going to make you stressful. But if it's being on the dot and being strict, is what will make you stress-free for those na merong may pagka-OC yung personality, then you should also do that, okay? What's important What's important is you are okay with what you do. Hindi mo, hindi sobra yung pressure mo na hindi ka na masaya, okay? So, dapat nakakangiti ka pa rin, nakaka-enjoy ka pa rin ng time mo with family and friends. So, that's why if ever there's gathering, Merong mga meet-up, merong parties, kahit saan pa yan. I can always go because I know I can still stay within my carb limit, my caution list limit, and <coughs> most importantly, hindi ako nag-jeopardize ng aking kaligayahan to live life fully. And that's also one thing that you can also do, okay? Huwag magpaka-super strict if it's just going to make you stress, Okay. Number seven, kung nahihirapan pa, ask help. Join a community, find support. Sa mga pasyente ko before at mga followers natin na nakaka-find support kay Maming, you are very lucky na, na kayo, ay, kayo ay binibigyan ng panahon ni Maming. So, Maming is also very supportive and very helpful. Lahat na humihingi ng tulong sa kanya ay tinutulungan niya talaga. So, Parate yung merong mga kachat, merong kadiskusyon, maya-maya, meron na naman akong narinig na tinatawagan niya. Akala, akala mo, may nagkaroon siya ng jumpstart coaching. Pero yun pala, yaya pala yun ng isa sa aking mga pamangkin na tinuruan niya mag-low carb na ginagabayan niya araw-araw. So, 
find help wherever you can, to whomever you can. Ask help. Meron naman tayong community in low carb. Uh, hello to our members of Life Without Christ and low carb feasting and fasting community. And most importantly, hi and thank you sa ating mga admins and moderators. So, si Kuya Oli, si Earl, si Chloe, si Ayeng, and we have, we also have Sir Alan Kura. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat. So, uh, lahat ng ating mga moderators and admins sa LCFF community and Life Without Christ. So, join our community. Find support there kung meron kayong mga tanong. Many in our community are very helpful. Kahit ngayon, if you have your own questions, uh, maghanap kayo kung sino ang meron ng experience with what with your case. Most likely, maya-maya lang may sasagot na isang community member natin ng low carb and fasting. Because yung very beautiful thing with our way of life, ang mga members natin are always very grateful. Sobrang nagpapasalamat sila sa kanilang newfound healing na it's almost miraculous, no? Na yung healing kasi yung iba hindi makapaniwala. I know, mahirap talagang paniwalaan until you experience it yourself. Ako mismo din, hindi rin ako ganun makapaniwala. We, I'm also very skeptical before. I remember before, si maming paana na ata yung unang naniwala sa keto diet before mm-hmm. me. Before yung pinaniniwalaan ko, fasting lang and maming mas nag-expand on keto diet, especially na we have an uncle before diagnosed with terminal cancer na kaya lang hindi lang naagapan. So it's all, but it made his last few days more bearable and more comfortable, no? With, <laughs> ano, next stand, next stand, kahit parang few days na, at least nakita niya yung mga anak niya before he passed. So, magal, mag, sobrang ganda talaga. So, no, no, kung ano yung, no, a circle, be part of a circle that could help you sustain this way of life. Don't ever hesitate to ask help. So, if wala kayo, hindi nyo alam kung saan mag, mag, maghanap ng tulong, uh, message our page and our admin. Admin siya will help you find that support na kailangan ninyo. We will direct you to the proper doctors, proper people, proper community that can help you. And of course, programs if necessary kung kailangan ninyo yon. Okay? And number eight, consider other factors if you are still not healing. If feeling ninyo ay sobrang galing nyo na sa low-carbon fasting, You've been, you've been doing it for one, two, three years at hindi pa rin perfect, perfect. It's okay. Uh, give yourself some slack. It's okay, but consider other factors. SSS, amount of stress that you have, baka napasobrahan. May it be actual physical stress or may it be mental stress, okay? Kailangan moderate stress lang. Hindi rin pwedeng walang stress. Kasi kung walang stress, yung utak natin naghahanap ng ibang problema. So might as well have other forms of stress na healthy stress like exercise. So that's a very good kind of stress. And if you have other stressors na hindi madil, you can always ask for help, professional help if necessary. So stress is important, but it should be managed well. Okay? Dapat katamtamang stress lang. Hindi pa rin walang stress. Minsan, yung iba daw nababaliw dahil wala ng stress sa buhay. So dapat merong enough challenge yung buhay, enough stress that you can have. Hindi rin pa rin sobra-sobra that it's overwhelming dahil nakakabaliw din yon. So as much as possible, tamang stress lang. So choose the kind of stress that you will accommodate in your life wisely. Next would be sunlight. Baka nakulangan kayo sa sunlight. If like me, minsan hindi talaga nagkakaroon ng sun exposure because of work schedules and other responsibility schedules, you can take vitamin D instead. But of course, wala pa rin nakaka-replace sa direct sunlight. 15 to 30 minutes a day. So, And it's also free. And lastly, sleep. And sleep is also free and also very, very important. And if you are having problems sleeping, baka makatulong yung melatonin na supplement for you to have that good night rest, for you to rejuvenate that stressed body. So stress, sunlight, and sleep. I think tamang-tama yung sleep natin. This afternoon, nagnap. Dapat 6 o'clock yung live natin, di ba? Kaya lang, pag-ising ko, 6.15 na. 
And ganun din, nagising na rin si Brie at nagising na rin si Maming. Sabi ni Brian kanina, Ming, uh, sabay-sabay kayong tat- natulog tatlo, kayong three generations. <laughs> Yeah, so yung three generation daw, sabay natulog at sabay din nagising. So yeah, and that's why we are up and about now sa ating live episode. So consider other factors. They are equally important or even more important than your diet. So dapat huwag itong ikaligtaan. Okay? Make sure you manage all those. You get just enough stress, adequate sunlight, and of course enough amount of sleep. So, number nine, before we move on to number ten, kung matagal na kayo sa low carb, pero parang, hmm, bakit parang hindi pa rin tama? So, review, relearn, and reapply. Dahil baka meron ng updates, just like with our books. So, nandyan yung ating new edition ng ating books that you can actually avail now in Amazon. So, we have second edition ng ating Perfect at Last book series on weight, health, and wellness. And we will also have a book signing for those na bumili nito. So, review, relearn, and reapply. I also review and relearn and also reapply. And that's why nagsula tayo ng second edition ng ating mga libro because there are updates and there are improvements na kailangan i-improve sa ating first edition. So, we no longer uh, promote the first edition kasi marami ng important changes na kailangan makuha dito. Ming, can you please give me Ming? Nandiyan lang Ming. Thank you so much, Ming. Yan. Kahit saan dyan, mga libro dyan. Yung mga plastic siguro. Oh, yung mga hindi natin na ipadala. So, this is actually three. Meron dyan, meron book three. So, this is uh, book one. This is book two and book three. So, actually, meron na itong may mga may-ari na. but hindi na namin napadala pa? Because we're so busy. So, yan. Yeah. Punin mo natin yung pangalan para hindi nila malaman na nandito yung kanila. Pero, yung iba... So, this is the second edition, Evolutionary Perspectives Guide on Fasting for Optimum Weight and Healing. So, if you have the first edition before, iba pa yung subtitle non. Before yung subtitle non, Evolutionary Perspective Guide on Attaining and uh, the Ideal Body Weight, the Fastest and Most, the Efficient and Fastest Way. So, hindi na tayo nagmamadali on weight loss. We are just going to promote on optimum weight and also on healing. So this is already the second edition. Meron na itong Filipino, yes, meron na rin itong Filipino version sa mga gustong magbasa in Tagalog on Filipino. And yes, so ito yung Tagalog natin. So, evolutionaryong gabay sa tamang pag-aayuno tungo sa malusog na pangangatawan. So it's not just about weight loss, but it's about how to do fasting the right way uh, safe way, especially it's multiple applications for healing, hindi lang sa weight loss. So the protocols here are made, are, are di- discussed on the background of weight loss, but the protocol on he- on fasting, you can actually apply for healing talaga. So yun. And our book two. So second edition of book two, Eat to Heal pa rin. Perfect at last, health. Eat to heal. So it's like a prescription pad. But instead of gamot, yung nakalagay dito ay mga pagkain. That is actually for you to heal. So iba natatakot sa steak, natatakot sa coconut oil, natatakot sa itlog. Kasi baka daw ito ay magtaas ng kanilang cholesterol. And that is not actually true. Some even have normal or even lower cholesterol in low carb depending on the individual response yan, but most importantly, low inflammation. So this is for our book two. And we also have book three. Ang book three natin is for our mental health. So this is a favorite among many na happy lang sa low carb, but pero merong mga problema minsan sa stress and how to deal with life's everyday na mga stressors. So, internal calm amidst external chaos. So, yan. So, yan. Ito, ito, ganito, ito sila. Ganito sila kakapat. So, yan. So, the book one, book two, and book 
three. So I hope you can get a copy of that. And of course, if ever naman, you can just continue to learn many other things in our website. So uh, for a structured learning program, meron tayong LCF Masterclass on Diabetes, Hypertension, Obesity, PCOS, Infertility, GERD, sa may mga problema sa GERD, and marami pang iba, tumors and cancers, allergies, autoimmune diseases, asthma, at marami pang iba. You can learn that in our LCF Masterclass, either through Facebook. You can inquire sa kahit anong page na kung saan ka nanonood ngayon. Or you can visit our website. You can directly enroll there. Meron tayong mga three months na viewing of the classes at lcfmasterclass.com. Org. And of course, we would also like to invite you if ever you are here in this area in Tagig, in Tagig on March 16, magkakaroon tayo ng book signing and meet and greet with yours truly. So this is free. Wala po itong bayad. You just have to buy at least two out of three of the books. So contact nyo lang si Cherise for any inquiries in case hindi pa kayo naka, nakapagpabook because the uh, seats are limited. So Viber or WhatsApp lang at 0917-993-1239. And of course, you will not just be able to attend yung book signing and meet and greet with yours truly. And of course, the whole of my family, both Rojo and Tan family, will be here. You will also get to have a taste of free low-carb goodies and giveaways from our partners and very, very happy low-carb supporters. Perfect Match Low-Carb Selections, Chapes Keto Cakes, Gabri's Low-Carb Goodies then Keto Mojo, Keto Friendly Low-Carb No Sugar Added Food, Cucina ni Gracia, Low Carb, Keto Friendly, Cucina ni Gracia, Teo Broma Mega Center in Mandawe, Lorene Goodness from Coconut Oil and Cafe Viva, Low Carb Herbal Coffee. So I hope to see you. And of course, for our last tip natin when it comes to our way of life, paano simulan yung low carb kapag ikaw ay may maintenance na. Lastly is just to trust the process at magpasalamat for each progress. Yung marami na, na hindi masaya, I actually, they are just not so grateful. But if you will be very grateful, ito yung nalearn namin. The more grateful you are, oh, kapag ikaw ay mas magi na mas nagiging mas pasasalamatin, you are more grateful, you are actually becoming more blessed. You will become more blessed, you will become luckier the more grateful you are. So always magpasalamat sa kahit anumang little victories and little achievements and little progress kahit pa 30 minutes na lang ay 30 minutes na lubagpas ka sa inyong fasting schedule. That's already something to be thankful about. Kahit hindi ka pa naka achieve ng iyong fasting target today but you attempted at na short ka by one hour, it's still good. So attempting it is already good enough. At least you've tried. So kahit ano pa yan, marami na tayong pwedeng pasasalamat. Okay? So trust the process and be grateful. And that's how we start low carb kung may maintenance na, and even if wala ka pang maintenance, if you're at the top of your health, then it's the best time to start doing low carb. So recap tayo. Do it with proper guidance. Consult your physician. Study, learn, and apply. Start with food inventory and elimination in your own pantry, in your own day-to-day. -day. Closely monitor progress, either laboratories, either yung mga parameters that you can measure at home, blood pressure, blood glucose, waistline level. Yung weight kahit weekly or twice a month lang, enough na yan. And be patient. Huwag magmadali. Know your limit sa mga bagay-bagay, sa carbs, sa caution list, at inyong tolerance sa low-carb lifestyle. Kung nahihirapan pa, ask help, join a community, find support, and if kayo ay hindi pa rin nag -heal fully, consider other factors like SSS, stress, sunlight, and sleep. At kapag hindi pa rin, you better review, relearn, and reapply. And lastly, trust the process and be grateful for each progress every step of the way. So yun lamang po. Maraming maraming salamat. That's our live episode today. I hope I can see you in our 
meet and greet or you can have a copy of our books or you can learn more kung walang time you can learn on your own either through facebook you can message the the page the page that you are watching this video in or through our website lcfmasterclass.org and always stick to the safe list of our food list to be on the safer side of healing for more you can also grab a copy of the book in amazon para naman sa magbo-book signing just message us kami na po ang mag ang bibili from amazon and ship here in the philippines for you para mas mura yung shipping fee na babayaran ninyo or visit our website jgrtanmd.com para sa printable food list natin. So this is your diet doctor, Dr. Josephine Grace Rohatan. And always remember to stay low carb so that we all stay safe. Maraming maraming salamat everyone. Thank you so much till our next video. Salamat po.